Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am showing how you can turn an image that has one layer to multiple layers in Cricut Design Space. The reason why you would want to do this is if you want to make each piece different colors, then you can cut out all of those colors on vinyl and layer it together either with adhesive vinyl or heat transfer vinyl. I also want to show you how to do this by just finding an image on the internet. You can find images on Cricut Design Space. I will show you really quickly. If I go to their image images and let's say I type in Minnie Mouse. Here's one of their images and I want to show you how it looks like when it has different layers. You can see over here is the layers panel to the right. These are all the different layers and they are all separated by color. So if I hit ungroup you can move all of these out. So if you find one in Cricut Design Space like this, it's already done for you. You can also find some SVGs from different blogs or Etsy that are already done for you as well. But I'm going to show you how to find one online. I'm going to be doing a Little Mermaid. I already searched for this and I actually searched for coloring pages and I just typed in free after that. Disney does not allow for you to sell items with Disney designs on it. So these would be for personal use. Also you need to make sure that they have a free download as well. So you kind of have to do your own research when you're finding images online. But here is a whole bunch of images. I had typed in coloring pages because it comes up with a lot of options like that. The one that I'm going to be using is this one. I'm just going to select on it and go to the actual page. Here's the image that I'm going to be using. Also, you want to be careful when you're downloading images. Sometimes you do not want to click on something that will give you a virus. So just be careful when you're downloading off of the internet as well. On here, I'm going to click on download down in this section. It shows up down here showing that it downloaded. Now I'm going to go into Cricut. I'll click on uploads to upload that image. It's underneath my downloads. I'll double click on that. This next part, I want to show you a trick that I learned. Normally what I would do is hit complex. Then I would go in here and start erasing things. But I'm going to show you something that helps clean up the image a little bit better. And I can go back and show you what it looks like when you don't do this. I am actually going to select simple. Then I'm going to hit continue. Once you're in this screen, I am going to go up to advanced options. I'll select that. It's on the number eight. I'm going to switch it down to a two. It will reduce the colors of the image and it will make it cleaner. Now what I'm going to do is if I was to hit continue, it would look like this. If I hit preview, it's just blank. So what you need to do is make sure your magic wand is selected, then go through and delete everything except for the black outline. I'm going to go through and click on all of these. So I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch this slowly. If you accidentally select the black line, don't panic. All you have to do is go up to the arrows and hit undo. Also, what really helps me is zooming in. You can zoom in pretty far, which makes it a lot easier to erase these lines. You can see there's a tiny little piece here. Make sure you get those pieces as well. Now I've selected everything that I want, but what I always recommend is hitting preview before you hit continue to make sure that the image looks clean. I'll select preview. That looks really great, so I'll hit continue. I'm going to save it as a cut image, then I'll hit save. I'll select it, then insert, in, insert the image into the canvas, and here you go. Now I just really quickly want to show you what it looks like if you don't select that color advanced option. I'm going to insert this. Now I'm just going to do it how I normally would, hitting complex. It's out of five, so it's not reduced. I'm going to select the white areas, but I'll skip past this so you don't have to watch all of this. Now I have all of that done. I'm going to click on preview again. You can see if you look over here, there's some marks there. 
And then I'm not sure about her eyes if it's not as clean, but I am going to try just to erase these, but show you that um, you can still do this. I'll hit preview. Now I'm going to hit continue, and I think the eyes didn't even look that great after doing that. You can see the difference with how clear the eyes are here, but here it's like dark and doesn't look very good. So I love that tip for cleaning up your image. I'll delete this, then I will show you how I separate all of these pieces. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because I'm going to be using the duplicate button. How I'm going to be doing this is using the contour button to separate all of the pieces. But first, I'm going to be using, I think it's eight different colors. I'm going to hit duplicate until I have eight of these. Now I'm just going to separate all of these out so it makes it a little bit easier to look at all of this. Now if you look over to the layers panel, we have all these different layers. It started off with just one, but now that we have it all duplicated, each layer is going to be a different color. When you're layering vinyl, you want a solid black background that you'll layer the colors on top. So the first one's pretty easy. You're just going to make it a solid black color. I have it selected. I'm going to come down, then select contour. Now my favorite way to contour is hit hide all contours first. There's so many different pieces here and it's definitely the easiest way to do it. When you hit hide all contour, it will have all of them deselected except for this top piece. This top piece is the outline. So that is the only one that we want here for the first one. Now you can just click out of it there you can see we just have the black background. What I'm going to do next is move all of these to the side so I'm just working with one at a time. I'm going to work with this one but I'm going to keep it down in the corner. This makes it easier to see what is changing because it can get really confusing trying to select different ones. Now what I'm going to do is her tail. This part of the tail is a darker green, so I'm only going to do this part and this part here, and it's a lighter green. So I'll go back down to contour. You can see how it's really helpful having it down here. Otherwise, if it's behind this, you can't see what's getting deselected at all. So that's one of my biggest tips is keeping it where you can see it. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'll hit hide all contours. It will show just the shadow piece. Then I am going to go in and you can zoom in, which really helps a lot. And I'm going to go in and select these. I'll select the first one. After I select the first one, I'm actually going to come up and select that outline because we don't want that. Then I am going to select all of these pieces. You can find them in here, but it's really hard to know which one's which. So what I like to do is click on it on the actual picture. Sometimes it looks a little off. Um, as you can see, my pointer is on this one, but it's highlighting the one to the way left. So just be kind of careful with that. I'm going to make all of these dark so they all show up. For some reason, it's not really letting me highlight over this. Oh, here we go. I have to come all the way down here for it to do that. This mouse is a little off for some reason, so just a warning if you're trying to do this. Okay, I ended up just finding it over on the side. Sometimes it's weird how it does that. If you look down here, you can see that I have all of those pieces. Now I'm going to go over here then select these. I'm going to click out of it so I have just this piece. If you click out and realize there's another piece that you need, you can just have this selected and hit contour again. I'm going to go up then change this to a lighter green. I'm just going to move this to the side then I'll grab my next one. I'll select contour again. Now what I'm going to do is the other part of the tail. So once again, I'm going to hit hide all contours. Then I'm going to zoom in and select just that piece. As you can see, it looks weird like that, but that's because you have to deselect this one. I'll click out. I'm going to make this a darker green. 
Now I'll grab my next one. I'll hit contour. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'll hit hide contour. I'll zoom in and I'm going to do the next part. Then I'm going to select that one as well and I'll just click out. This will be purple. I'll just bring over the next one. I think for this one I will do her teeth and her eyes. Then I'll just save her hair and face for last. I'll hit con contour, hide all contours, then zoom in. When you hit hide all contours, the reason why this one is not selected is because it has to automatically just have one there. So that's why I have to go back in and select it. I hope that makes sense. But I'm going to zoom in some more. This is where it starts to get a little tricky when you're doing this. You have to just kind of play around with it until you get it to work. Now what I'm going to do is the white of her eyes and her teeth. The teeth part is easy. It's this one right here. I'll select on that. Then I'm going to deselect this. So you can see down here we only have that tiny piece. But the white part of her eyes, I had a hard time trying to figure out which one it is. So what I did was looked at one of these. I'm going to make this one bigger and not use this one for my layering. What I did was I looked at this, this part, the circle part, that is blue. I want her eyelashes and the inner part of her eye black. Right here is where you want it to be white. Then over here you want the outside to be white. So looking at that made it a little bit easier. So now I'm going to select on this tiny piece down here. I'll hit contour. And let me zoom in. For this one, I zoom in a lot, so it's a lot easier. I want this part white, so I'll select that. Then I want just this part white. So there are just three tiny pieces that you will make white. It looks like it might not make much of a difference, but it actually does. I'm going to come up here, then select white. These pieces are really tiny, so it does make it a little bit harder when cutting it out, but I think the Cricut will be able to cut that out. Now I'll grab another one of these. Now I'm going to do the blue part of her eyes. I'll hit contour again, then I'll select hide all contours. This little half circle of her eye is blue. Then over here it's the other kind of like half circle. I also want to select that again, and we have our tiny pieces for the eyes. I am going to select blue for those. I'll grab this one, but I want to hit duplicate. I don't want to use this one because the sizing will be off and I need a couple more colors. I'm going to hit duplicate and move this back. Then I'm going to bring this back down. I'll hit contour. Next I am going to do her hair, so I will hit contour. I'll hit hide all contours and zoom in. I am just going to select the main parts of her hair. I selected that one first, then I'll deselect that. There are some more pieces of the hair that I missed when I was putting this together on my own. I'm going to zoom in. This piece also goes with her hair. Also this is another piece. I might be missing one more, but what I'm going to do is just click out. Then I can see when I put it all together if I'm missing any of it. And like I said with this, you have to just kind of play around with it when you're hitting contour. It's easy to forget a piece, but you can easily go back in and find it. All I have left now is the peach part for her skin and face. This one was definitely the hardest one to do. I'm going to go back and follow the same process. I'll zoom in. What made it tricky was her face, but I am going to do the easy parts first. I'll select her arms. I will get rid of that. Now I'll select her face, which that part's pretty easy. But what I got confused on was the eyes. So what I did at first is I changed this to kind of a peach color and her eye was missing. So I'm going to go back. Then I am going to select her eye. I don't want these two. It's hard to get it just right, but you can see when it outlines it. So there we got it. 
As you can see down there, it gets rid of the inside of the eye. Also, I think I want to select the eyebrow. Also, her mouth, you can see that we have the open parts of the eye, but we need the mouth too, so I'm gonna try to select that. There we go. That way, it will cut it where it's open so you can add the teeth and the lips. I'm also gonna select part of her nose. These other little lines, I'm just gonna leave those because I think it'll be easier. But this is the part where I feel like it gets the most confusing is trying to figure out which ones to select and deselect. What helps is just playing around with it until you get it. I'm going to select out of that. I also just realized that I need to add the lips. The lips are going to be red, so I want to use the same color. Basically, if there's two pieces of the design that are the same color, I use that as one layer. I hope that makes sense, but let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm going to go back to contour because I forgot to contour her red lips. I'm just going to zoom way in because it's just so much easier. I'm going to select this and the other part of her lip. Now I'll click out and you can see we have her lips there. Now that we have all of the layers contoured, you can see in the layers panel, we have all the different layers. Now I'm just gonna piece this together. By doing this, I can see if I am missing something also. I'm gonna zoom in so it's easier to see it. It doesn't matter if this matches up or anything because the Cricut's going to be cutting it out separately, but it helps me to make sure I have everything correct. It's pretty crazy how these little pieces actually come together. It's really cool. Now I'm just gonna make sure I have all of the pieces that I need. I like how that looks. I'm going to zoom out. I'm also going to make a separate video showing how to cut out the vinyl and piece it together. So I will link that in the description box once that's done. But I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions because the contouring tool can get a little bit tricky. But I think just practicing with it, it gets a lot easier. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's completely free. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And I hope you all have a great day.